Hello and good morning, lovely people. So we had a thunderstorm here last night. Um, somewhere near here, there, were, there must have been a big bang. I guess lightning struck somewhere. Our dog started barking in the middle of the night. I, I woke up from that. I didn't hear the thunderstorm. I didn't realise it had even rained. Um, but the dog woke me and after that I was awake from sure like two hours or something. There he is. Look, hasn't he grown? Hasn't he grown? And he's a good boy. He is a very good boy, actually. But long story short, it was a really rough night. And um, this morning I thought, well, I'll just lie down again, see if I can get just a bit of sleep for another hour or something. Um, not a chance because the, there's the building upstairs, um, lots of drilling going on today. Uh, so also, um, I can't do any filming today, which I had planned. I wanted to plan some, I wanted to film something. I wanted to film something at home. Can't do it. it there's just no point in, in filming at home. Um, weather is still not the best it's raining on and off so the few ideas i have for filming outside um do need good weather so there's no point in doing that either so today we're just going to have a chill day escaping the building site once more <laughs> sort of popping into the bookstore maybe getting a book although i do have one i'm reading at the moment um and a few on my to read list but that doesn't stop me from buying books ever <laughs> and then just popping into a nice cafe or Starbucks and putting my feet up and read a bit and see if I can get a bit of a rest and break from the building site there. Um, you can probably hear the builder's radio in the background. Oh, by the way, the book I'm reading at the moment, don't laugh, is Famous Five. Uh, because during lockdown, um, I started reading lots of uh, Agatha Christie, like one after another, never mind whether Poirot or Tommy or Tuppence or Miss Marple. Read lots of Agatha Christie during all the lockdowns. Um, and then at some point I started thinking of, oh yeah, this start, maybe this started when I was a kid, when I read all those Famous Five. And I was like, hmm, Famous Five, wouldn't mind reading those again because I don't have my old books anymore. Uh, so I found somebody on eBay uh, in Scotland selling the, com the complete works or sort of the a complete edition of the famous five which is 21 books um which took ages to get to get here because royal mail lost no oh it wasn't it was hermes hermes lost it royal mail and i think the or was it dhl that finally got it i don't know hermes lost it and it got lost for about half a year three quarters of a year took ages finally here got here a few weeks ago and i just started uh last week i started book number one um and I'm actually quite enjoying that, so I think I'll take that one to Starbucks. But I'll go to the bookstore anyway to see if I can find anything there. So join me, will ya? Before I go, I have I do have one more thing. I just checked my emails and it said two things I ordered from Amazon out for delivery. One was a book. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and the other one is a small tripod for my phone because I only have um, I only have this big ring light as a tripod. So, um, and I realized that when I was filming in the bathroom, was it last week, I think? Um, it's hardly possible to use the ring light and actually film in front of the mirror and I need something to put on that little shelf underneath the mirror. And also, I don't have any light from the front then. Now, what I, I ordered one thing last week that came on Saturday, it's Monday today. Um, watch this. Aha. Aha. <laughs> um, not quite sure which one is best. I guess the I guess the brightest setting, uh, this one. Um, yes, but I ordered one of those clip-on ring lights for the phone. Hang on. Oh, ta da! <laughs> um, yes, so I can, if I do have to film on my phone, well, which I do all the time, but if I do film on my phone and I can't really use the big ring light. Um, I have the small clip on, which is, and so this is much better than this. This is also okay, it's fine, but I do quite, do quite like that. So I'm glad I got this. It was a pack of two, which absolutely makes sense. So if you're done with one, you can charge enough. They're supposed to last for two hours. Um, so if you're done with one, you can switch to the other one, um, which is also good, I realised, having, uh, if you're on a Zoom conference, 
You can put that on your laptop as well, which is also good because sometimes you have the light coming from the side and people can't see you properly. Um, yes, so not taking not taking this out with me though because still strange filming in public. Um, I'm not quite used to that yet and I am definitely not going to put a ring light on my phone while I'm filming in public. <laughs> so let's go. before and she recommended it and it is quite nice the only thing with the straw is that it can get a bit soggy on top and it the, at the very bottom all you do then is just bite a bit off and it's as good as new and we're good to go oh look at that i read i think i've read these last one was like 10 or 11. I started reading when i was about seven i guess six or seven i guess i read them till i was about 11 or 12. i haven't read these in years Master's cafes really well, like public places like cafes, restaurants. He's really good at that. Oh, I'm getting some special Darcy kisses. Am I getting some kisses? Oh, kisses. I love your kisses. They're the best. They're the best. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm, good boy, good boy. really good corn dogs, um, sort of Korean type corn dogs. Never had a corn dog before, not in America either, even though, even though as a kid I spent a lot of time in America. Never had a corn dog. Um, so apparently they have really good Korean corn dogs here. I didn't know it was a Korean thing. Um, I've ordered my food and with that I'm having a yuzu lemon lemonade. Whatever that is, I asked them for a Korean soft drink. Uh, a cold soup, cold drink to go with my corn dog. The corn dog is, let me show you, hang on. There we are, so that's the lemonade. Delicious. The corn dog is potato and cheese, which sounded good. Um, anything with potato in it, I'm always for it. Oh, to be fair, or to be, to be honest, it smells like chips with ketchup. We'll see what it tastes like. And there's my lemonade we still have. Oh wow, look, it's actually got orange zest in it. There's a, is that like marmalade right on top? Wait, it smells this. Can't smell much. Right. Oh, but I like 
like it. It's really refreshing. That is delicious. Mm. <laughs> the dough feels a bit like a croissant. Mm. See, I said it tastes a bit like chips with ketchup. Chips. Yeah, chips. With ketchup. I don't know if I'm allowed to film here, but I don't really want to ask. So I won't ask, so I'll try and keep the filming. No key. It feels strange. It feels so strange filming in public. It's so weird. But people around me was great. I wish you to me too. He's being such a good boy. He deserves another treat. Hang on. Hang on, little man. Oh, look, you could hear me. Open the bag. Does he? You're a good boy. Oh, look at his so oh, look at those eyes. Oh. You can pay some more. get quite soggy off the while and soft, don't they? Well then, lovelies. I hope you enjoyed today. I enjoyed it. It was a chill day. It was... Despite the noise at home, it ended up being a quiet day. So, let's hope next time I want to film at home, I actually get a chance. <laughs> I'm going to have to be really ready and have everything laid out and prepared so that when the builders have their lunch break or morning breaks um, that I'm ready to film and I get it filmed quickly. Um, so yes, that's it for now, that's it for today. I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are. Stay happy, stay healthy and bye bye.